My earliest mentor in this entire industry of personal development is this gentleman right here, Charlie Tremendous Jones. He had a great quote. He says that you're the same today as you'll be in five years, except for two things, the people you meet and the books you read. It's who you hang out with, it's what you put in your head that determines your character as a person. Like I think uh, I've revised that to say, you're the same today as you'll be in five years, except the people you meet and the books you're in. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's best-selling author, speaker, filmmaker, Greg Reed, right here in my personal library. Now look, I've never shared my books and what I put in my head before with any other individual. So you're getting kind of a sneak peek behind the scenes because quite frankly, I've never opened or showcased in my entire life on this planet. You know, I'm looking through some of the different books that I've been part of now 56 uh, different projects. Now, that doesn't mean I've written 56 books. It means that I've wrote a foreword or I was interviewed for, or I've written a book or co-authored or had co-authors, or I've written a blurb or some form of, you know, I've been edited, I've been published in a periodical, a book, a magazine that's been released to the public. And it's really interesting. It all began with this project right here. It's called The Millionaire Mentor. Now, when I wrote my very first book, this was the very first uh, cover, uh, it was kind of interesting. I was turned down by 268 publishers in a row when I did my first book. You know why? Because I can't write. <laughs> I'm not very good. I got a D in English. And uh, the 269th one said, we'll do your book. All you got to do is change the title, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Because <laughs> they knew more than I did. So I took their counsel and applied it. And this became the very first copy that went on to become a worldwide bestseller. I think nine different languages, 60 some odd thousand copies sold. Uh, but what's really interesting is these are some of the different languages. Le Millionaire Mentor. Uh, this one right here is done in, I have no idea what even languages is. But what's really cool about it is when you get a book out into the wild, how many people grasp it from all walks of life, from all over the place. You know, a lot of folks think that my entire career started working with the foundation. Uh, but actually, I had about 15, 20 projects before that came to life, that golden opportunity, where Don Green, CEO of the Napoleon Hill Foundation, wrote this little letter of recommendation, which opened up the doors of opportunity for me to travel the world and meet the most powerful and influential people and tell their stories in book and film. This is a cool little one. I just got this thing. It's Napoleon Hill's greatest speeches. These are all the ones that he told uh, from stage, they had it edited into a book form, and it was kind of neat. I just had it autographed to me from Don Green, CEO over at the foundation. <laughs> and I'm looking at all these different projects and things of this nature. These are some of the books that I've written. Uh, over here are books that have made a positive impact in my life. I mean, some of these things have truly been transformational, such as No More Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, it's about getting our masculinity back as a male species, not being a jerk by any means, but it's about setting boundaries and saying exactly what it is that you want and not tolerating through life. And then over here, are some of my friends, you know, we've got Brian Smith, founder of Ugg Boots, birth of a brand. Uh, we've got Connected to Goodness uh, with David Meltzer, all these amazing, really neat projects. Over here is Stickability, the power of perseverance. And here it was done and I think this was, uh, Chinese right here and all the different languages of that nature as well. But here's what's really cool. I was looking through and I've also got all these. You've never seen probably one of these before. These are the manuscripts that people send out when they want endorsements or little blurbs before they get published. So these are all the sample versions that will never be for sale. And then it becomes like this, the actual hard copy. David Corbin did Illuminate. Well, this is the pre-version. And now you've got many, many copies of that. And by the way, look at this one. This is three feet from gold. <laughs> this is the actual first thing I ever wrote for three feet from gold. That was the, the actual manuscript. And this one's really cool. When uh, uh, Charles Lindbergh was out selling his concept of his book, this was his sample that they used to uh, do his project with actual photographs and things of that nature. Just looking through here, there's just so many neat little things. This is my TGR collection, as you can see, with a lot of the behind stuff that most people will not have access to. This again, back to Brian Smith, signed one of these Ugg boots where he's the founder. And this is very neat. When I did Stickability, uh, I had each person I interview actually sign a piece of duct tape here. Uh, so I have a little memento. 
And then when we did uh, a, a different project over here, Thoughts Are Things, we added an hourglass. And I have no idea why I did that one, but it was logical at the time. And then when Three Feet From Gold, I had everyone sign a, a yardstick since it was three feet away. And what's interesting looking through Three Feet, let's look at some of these different languages. I mean, right here, I think this is Japanese. We've got over here, I believe this is Spanish. Over here, we've got uh, no idea. Over here, I've never even heard that language before. Over here, no idea. Over here, no idea. It's so cool that you get these things in the mail, all these different versions that, you know, it all began with a little manuscript. And when I was shooting the movie, this is the actual camera. <laughs> it's kind of dated now, but how cool is this? I shot an entire motion picture on that little sucker. It went all around the uh, country with me, doing interviews with everyone from the creator of String Theory to the you know, the founder of Remax Real Estate and everyone in between. And now we're doing the Magic Key Project, uh, Sharon Lecter and I, and this is the big key. I had everyone sign uh, doing that work as well. Uh, you know, it's interesting, when I did the Millionaire Mentor book project, uh, Bill Clinton, uh, President of the United States, I was working with youth here. People think I mentor millionaires, but I actually work with inner city gang kids in San Diego. Happened to be kind of successful. As I drive up in a new car, the kids would say, here comes the millionaire mentor, became a badge of honor. And I got written up for a little bit of work that I was doing with the local community. And as I was looking through all these different projects, all this different stuff, it's really interesting. This is my pride and joy. This is like the, the kind of the holy grail right here. Ba -ba! This right here came from the foundation where before he passed away, this is one of the last versions that you'll see personally autographed from Mr. Hill himself. Same thing, I've got stuff from John Wooden, uh, but this is really special, check this out. These are radio broadcasts from 1947 of Hill. I got them from the 30s, 40s, of all these different interviews that he did that no one's ever had an opportunity to hear before. And now I believe that they're transcribing them into book form and things of that nature. The point is, is that there's so much information here, but it's what you do with that information that truly separates yourself from the 95% who dream of success to that top 5% who actually achieve it. The only thing I do different in my life is someone gives me great insights, I do something with it. I invite you to come by the house anytime you'd like and peruse through this library. In fact, maybe you wanna take one of these out and borrow it and I'm good with that, except for this one. You ain't getting near that one. And then over here, as I was looking through all these different mementos and things that made a you know, huge impact in my life over time. I'm looking at the wizard of ads and you know how to sell without selling and all these different things. The one that keeps sticking out time and time again comes back to the classic laws of success. You know, it's the principles. The realities are a hundred years ago, if you jumped out of an, you know, a tall hundred story building, you splatted. The laws of Gravity have not changed. Well, the laws of success have not changed as well. All I do now is study what those laws are, and then I do something very cool and apply that wisdom. Come check out my library. I invite you now.